these guys work for the Air Sea Rescue. If I give them a hand cleaning their celebrity red carpet, they're going to help me out with an investigation. Getting these shots. Ouch! The soles of my shoes are on the carpet. There are millions of tiny positive and negative charges on my shoe and the carpet. You can't see them because they're invisible. But when I rub my shoe on the carpet, some of the negative charges are transferred from the carpet to my shoe. The negative charges appear to stay put on my shoe because my shoes are made out of plastic. Materials that behave like this are called insulators. My body also contains a mixture of positive and negative charges. The distribution of these charges changes as the positive charge on my body is attracted to the negative charge on my shoes. This leaves a negative charge on my body which suddenly flows when I touch the carpet sweeper. Ouch! That's because it's made out of metal, a conductor. A conductor allows the electrical charge to flow. Let's take a look at that again. As I touch the sweeper, the negative charges flow through my arm and down the metal handle, so I get a tiny shock. Ouch! This helicopter might look very different to my shoes, but a very similar thing happens here. We are going to investigate it. When a helicopter flies through the air, dust particles in the air bounce off the blades and the body of the aircraft. This causes a build-up of negative charge on the helicopter. The charge can't escape because the helicopter is surrounded by air, an insulator. This build-up of charge could be a problem for Terry here, the winchman. His job is to come down a lifeline to rescue people stranded in places the helicopter can't land. But imagine what would happen if he touched the ground. The charge on the helicopter could escape through his body to the ground and he'd get a nasty shock. Is there an alternative? Hi, Terry. Hello there. Yes, there is an alternative. We um, attach a static line, which is about nine feet of wire, sheathed in the plastic coating for about three quarters of the length. It's attached to the winch hook, and the winchman comes down on the winch hook, holding onto the static line. When he gets close to the vessel, or onto the deck, he just touches the deck or the side of the vessel with the static line, the metal bit of the static line, and that discharges all the static electricity from the aircraft. Time to see it in action. Terry dangles the static line as he approaches the ground. It touches first and instantly the charge escapes, so it's safe for him to land and rescue me. 